in this specific spot in this this arena it brings me back to an experience i had uh with my boxing coach not too long back i hired a boxing coach um, and i started boxing simply for the fact that i wanted to get better i want to always better myself i didn't have the urge to all of a sudden become you know oh i, I want to go i want to go box it was just something that i knew that i wasn't going to be good at and i thought how can i be challenged and be pushed out sort of my normal realm of comfort. As we started along, we were in a little bit of the, the beginning phase, what I call like the training wheel phase. And we were in like maybe like the first to six six weeks of it. So six weeks, it was, it was pretty much all pad work, you know, a lot of explosive different exercises. And, and even that humbled, it humbled me in and itself, like thinking to myself, well, wait a minute, you know, I should be fit. I should be in a, in a good position to this. And I was totally wrong. Being in boxing conditioning is a completely di different story. Needless to say, um, after the training wheel phase and after going through that six week phase, he said, okay, well next week we're gonna do a little bit of sparring. And I said, okay, and I knew it was gonna be me and him, so I knew it was gonna be that trusted source, but you know, I was a little bit anxious. I got nervous and I didn't, know, I didn't really know what to expect. It was the unknown. And I remember he took me outside of, of the ring and normally where we had trained um, and came out to, to here, right here at this, this field and this spot. And he set a timer right over there on like multiple, multiple timers. And we we're gonna go about two minutes. And I remember when he started, I mean, there's so many thoughts racing through my head and a lot of things were going on. And as it was going, I just started getting more frustrated. I started getting angrier, I started to get built up because he was just beating the living crap out of me. And it got to the point where it was like, where I was trying to, you know, overpower him, trying to exert so much energy, he had to like pull me away. And he was just like, hey, 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 relax. Because I was getting so frustrated that I was just, you know, and I wasn't using that controlled aggression, which you're supposed to do in any martial arts. Otherwise, you're going to give up all your energy. But not only did I learn that it's okay to suck at something, because that, that is where the experiences lie. That's where that growth occurs. But also at the same time, an analogy that I took from it is that any time, whether, whether you box or not in your life um, or every single day, if you were trying to go after something and let's say you're in a metaphorical fight with your result, whatever you're trying to go after, if you are not willing to swing, not only do you never have a chance to win, but you will be, I mean, taken down in an instant. And so you have to be willing to swing at least at some point. And so whether that goes inside your body and your nutrition, you know, every single day, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be sprints. It doesn't have to be in the gym. It could be like simply waking up and going to get some kind of movement in. Whether it's inside your mental clarity, managing your stress, being able to create a little space to put you in between the event instead of acting like a reactive asshole when, you know, bringing your work home after a long day or in your relationships, sex life in terms of, you know, intimacy, you know, being there, communicating, all those things. You know, at the end of the day, did you swing? Did you give, give it a shot? That's all it takes is one swing. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just time and time again, and you'll learn every single time and be able to overcome every single step of the way.